Hi, this is Eric Horn with Board Game Geek. I'm here with Jeff Syadek from Guerrilla Games, looking at Desert Island, which you mentioned was, I don't know if it's a sequel or a spin-off of Lifeboat. It sort is. Of a thematic successor. Uh, Lifeboat is uh, my most popular game. It's in seven languages now, and people love it. And I was saying to my, uh, to my artist, Steve Ratter, I need another lifeboat. And he said, well, you've got Desert Island, which I've been working on, but it's so much similar to Lifeboat that I said, oh, I don't want people to think I'm just ringing the cash register. However, it's a lovely game in and of itself, and I'm happy to ring the cash register again. <laughs> okay. Right. So the idea here is a complete standalone game, but it uses the same characters. That's now, right, you are now on shore. Right, you were stranded on a lifeboat, and ma you made it to land, yay, but it's a desert island, so you've got to survive until a boat comes and rescues you. Okay. Uh, it uses and the then you play lifeboat again. Yes, okay. <laughs> exactly. It's yeah, a, then you follow. So it uses the same love and hate mechanic with uh, a little bit of update. That's one of the things I really loved about doing this game was I was able to take the things I loved out of Lifeboat and kind of refine them a bit, okay. and things I wasn't as happy with and kind of push them aside. So it uses the same love and hate mechanics. You get points for surviving, you get okay. points for whoever you love surviving, and you get points for the person you hate not surviving. Okay. But if you happen to hate yourself, now you're a psychopath, and you get points for your own survival and the person you love surviving, but everybody else on the island that dies, you get points for. So it's, it's sort of a, a, a fun love-hate situation. Okay. Uh, each turn represents uh, one week on the island where you're going to have to forage for food and get food. Uh, you can take one action, and you're always going to draw a fate card and, the, and play one. And okay. the fate cards all have some kind of, uh, they all have a number up top. And that's the number of food you get if you're foraging, or that'll add to your size if there's a fight about what you're gonna do, if you're gonna mug somebody. Okay. And then, uh, so the one you, you play one, and then you take the other one and put it down at the bottom of the fate deck. And eventually, by the end of the turn, there's been a number of fate cards played. And, it, and when you play a fate card, it puts these awesome uh, fate tokens on things. So this would go on space number four, and the first mate, and so on. So by the end of the turn, a lot of people will have fate tokens on them, okay. and you'll see the bad thing that happens at the end of the turn is it happens to whoever has the most. So okay. he's got three, and he's got three. So they're both going to have something bad, and the bad thing is whatever we have the most of, and we have rats or monkeys, but rats came first, so rats went to two first. Okay. So these guys are going to lose all their food, and everybody else is going to lose half their food. Okay. And so that's a terrible thing. Fate is a bad thing. So the idea, and each of the characters has their own special power that sort of messes with fate or lets them get extra food and stuff like that. And each of the locations on the island has its own special thing. If you're a lifeboat fan, then you know that being in the front of the boat is great, being in the back of the boat is great, the rest of the boat kind of doesn't matter. Here, okay. every spot matters. Okay. And then also with the fate mechanic, now you're deciding sort of every turn who's gonna have bad stuff happen to them. Okay. And of course, if you, if you try to mug somebody, you get a fate token. And then if they fight you back about it, they get a fate token. And so that adds up to it. And Frenchie's power is to back out of fights, of course. Okay. And which of, is all driven by what you want to happen. Right, with your, your love and hate. Goal. Yes, okay. yes. Okay. And, and there's new uh, uh, provisions and stuff. We got the blunderbuss and the cutlass and the balloons. And uh, chalice worth seven victory points. This is another update from Lifeboat. The, the victory points weren't quite enough to, to sway things, but now you're looking at a seven point chalice. You really, really want to get that chalice. It's worth sticking your neck out for it. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Or this Th this is available here. right now, and it's, it's going great, and I'm very, very happy to have it. All right. Thanks for the overview of Desert Island. Huh? Thank you, Eric. Yeah, you're welcome.